Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> you know I could beatbox, did you? I can do it all. Make a beat off the top of the head the same way I can create a poem off the top of the head. <laughs> but what up, though? Thank you for tuning in. Got another video on the poem and piece I'm going to give to y'all today. But the message for the day, I want to let y'all know that what you consume, what you entertain, is who you are. The same way that you are who you think you are, like I said in my other video, that's the same way I feel about this topic here. You are what you entertain. I may remember that. I mean, let's take a little, let's take a little dibble and dribble or dive into it. First off, like I say, the things you entertain, the things you watch, the things you listen to, <laughs> that's who you are. I mean, as a person, as a being, I mean, don't get me wrong, it is like a thin line to where, it's, no, I ain't gonna even say that. Even though I'm coming with all, all of the cuffs with what I'm saying, I was gonna just put it out there. Sometimes people listen to certain things or watch certain things just cause they interested or just cause they, you know, might just be curious about what it is and what it's, you know, you know, something that really don't pertain to them. So I'm trying to get some people out there the benefit of the doubt on certain little, on a certain little tidbit of certain things. Cause I know some people could be infatuated with certain situations or certain things that they would never just dare do, but they just kind of like intrigued. Okay, same like, okay, like right now. Okay, how you had this whole Dahmer thing on Netflix is real high in the ratings of people watching it. I mean, does that officially mean that 100% of the people that watch it would do what he did? No. But at the same time, it's still consuming a mind state, a little bit of fragment of the imagination that of a person that would knock someone off. Or even like thought about it. I mean, it's evil. I mean, it's evil. I mean, like if you even like interested or if you could just get through it, sit through it, and just the whole, the whole process. You consuming the energy of something that was evil. I mean, we know it fell off the surface, it was evil. So, it's a part of you that's interested in the evil. But I ain't gonna stay on that though. I'm gonna talk about other things. Talk about things like the gossip, the nonsense, the negativity, the fact that most want to see people come down or see people lose, or the headlines when somebody does certain things that becomes the caption and the whole clickbait and everything and the stories they run with just to perpetuate just being curious and just being into other people's lives and uh, I mean like what do you get out of that I mean like what type of energy does that rile up in all of these people's souls just to watch someone go through a divorce or to watch someone lose uh, lose their career or I mean, whatever the topic or the thing at hand, might, at hand might be. I mean, like, how do we get to that? To where people want to consume these stories and be like, did you heard about such and such day? The bad news. Why is the bad news so popular? Why is these grown men on online arguing like females? And why is the ratings so high 
of this person talking about this person. And we all tuned in to this person's response to this person. And it's the daily talk, it's the, it's the trending subject. And then everybody who's the creator and content creator have to chase these stories with an opinion to be heard for their own opinion that they really want to express. All these content creators have a voice of their own, but they have to find a way to equate themselves to every situation that's going on because they got the eyeballs. Because that bad story got the eyeballs. Because we living in a world where everybody want to hear the bad news. Who's being sued? Who lost the money? Who's going through a divorce? Who's kid on drugs? Who's the next artist got caught, through, caught up in the Rico? The next crew, who they get next? Who's going to jail? Let's see, let's tune in. How we come to this? And when you consume yourself with all this, right in the mix. need to work on that. I suggest you work on that. I'm gonna put something together for you right now. Pull off the top of the head right now off that. Check me out. Rap talk. What you entertain is who you are. What you entertain is who you can't be. What you entertain more than likely in your mind is a fantasy. You caught up in perception. You caught up in the illusion. You caught up in the madness. That's why you're confused and you losing. You wanna be a winner. You think a lot, but first of all, you gotta be a beginner, a starter, somebody with substance, somebody with assertiveness, somebody with a positive thought. Somebody who can't create, do something. And if you don't, that's your fault. That's why you look at the world through a closed eye lens. Living to somebody else like tuned in just to pretend. I wish we all could cut that TV off and start off, start over. Drink champs. They all need to sit down and be sober. Hang this in that show. Cause hell, I was too thin. Until I noticed what I was watching when doing nothing but something. I was escaping myself and I just couldn't even blend in. No more. Ask the question. But you will never get an answer. What a consciousness at. The world need to cure like cancer. You are what you watch. I told you that you are who you think you are. You are what you consume. But in real life, you could be the real superstar. You are what you entertain. Rap talk.